Now, Blue September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and as more men are taking control of their health and becoming aware of the risks, we are asking the doctor this morning if and how we can help to prevent prostate cancer. Morning, Dr. Francis. Morning, morning. to you, ladies. So first up, what is the prostate? Exactly. Let's go back to basics, and what does it do? It's a walnut-shaped gland that's in front of the back passage and underneath the bladder, if you can imagine that. Well, yes, we can, thank you. That's a very <laughs> and, clear and indication. It, and it makes the fluid in the semen. Okay, so <laughs> how common is prostate cancer well, in New Zealand? Well, in New Zealand, um, we are supposedly, um, our rates are the highest um, in New Zealand men with the figures that I've got, which are a few years old, telling us that we get 3,000 new p cases per year and we have 600 deaths per year. I mean, that's substantial. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it doesn't occur commonly before 55. It occurs more with age. One in 13 men develop it after 75. Now, what's important about this, just like breast cancer, it is survivable if it's diagnosed early, and yet, at the same time, we've got this dilemma about you can have a prostate cancer and never die from it. So there's these mixed messages, mm -hmm. but it's still important to detect this early. And get checked. So yes. what what is the cause and then who is most at risk? Mm. Now the truth of it is that the experts can't say what the exact cause of it, which is really, really interesting, but they do know that the contributors include age, smoking for sure, mm -hmm. chemical exposure, radiation, anything that inflames the prostate. Um, what would that be? What sort of thing would that be? Well, if you get um, a prostatitis, um, I don't know why some men get prostatitises, but it might be um, you might just have a general body inflammation, mm. and that actually leads into the general body inflammation that you have in the men with metabolic syndrome and diabetes and pot yeah. tummy. Now, I'm sorry to go on about this pot tummy business, but these people are more inflamed, and there's a definite connection uh, for them with prostate. Um, now, when it's the, the family history, if you've got a first degree relative, you've got much higher risk especially if it's your brother rather than oh, your father. Okay. Now, I don't know why. Um, and then, of course, prostate is one of those cancers that runs through families along with other cancers like breast, uh, uterus, bowel, uh, stomach and other cancers. Um, what's Lynch syndrome? Lynch syndrome is what I was referring to. Very often people think about it in relation to women and breast cancer. Yeah. Um, and it's a genetic a marker. Right. Um, but in actual fact, it can be in men as well, where you've got this cluster of these cancers that run through the families. Oh, and there's a connection with the BRCA gene. Oh, okay. Yeah, more BRCA uh, 2 than 1. That's so, interesting. Yeah. How do you screen for prostate cancer? Mm. Now, I think men should talk to their doctor about it and they should get over themselves. Um, after all, the women have been being poked for years. <laughs> so after yep. a certain age, the men need to man up and go along and have a chat. Is it in your family history? Mm. Uh, are you at risk? You'll know from listening to what I'm saying. And then, of course, we've got two tests that you can do. You can do the PSA, Prostate Specific Antigen Blood Which Test. Which is the blood test, OK. Yeah, now that's not very specific. That's the problem. Mm. I mean, it's true. It can be made worse by um, having sex, riding a bike. What, the... the the test. The test. Yeah, well, they can go up. That kind of seems understandable. And it can go up I mean, with if you're riding age. a bike and so you're a man. That's yeah. the problem that we have. Um, and you, you've also got the digital rectal examination. Mm -hmm. Now, um, up this the back is passage, up the back passage. Look, it's over within about three seconds. So um, men should consider this with their GP. But there, there's this controversy about at one end of the spectrum, people saying, don't bother. Uh, to the other end where people are saying you should definitely have all of this done. Now, I had a look at the cancer sites. They are talking about it. Right. What harm can it be to get it done? I mean, there about is, what, three yes. minutes of feeling a little bit, losing your dignity a little bit, but you're not even because I you're saving life. You might save your own life. My attitude is to do it. Um, and then if I'm not happy, I'll get a specialist to see the patient. Um, there is a slightly higher risk of the man requiring a prostate biopsy that they may not need. And, you know, but... But uh, again... That's why I send them to the specialist. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're the experts in it.
Okay, what about things like diet and lifestyle? They yes. obviously play a factor? Absolutely. Mm. We've talked about smoking, obviously, being yes. an issue. Yes, The pot now, belly. Pot belly, stay lean. Yeah. Now, if you've got pot belly in your family, mm. don't let yourself gain weight because it's so hard to get that pot belly, belly down. Yes. Exercise, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exercise regularly because it prevents cancer anyway. It oxygenates your body and cancer hates oxygen. The diet's very interesting. Avoid too much meat that's cooked at high temperatures, milk and too many eggs. Now look, the too many eggs is really if you think you're at high risk because okay. eggs are good for you. Yeah, because right? so my teenage sons will be yeah. fine with their eggs. Look, I think so, really. I mean, unless there's a strong family history. Uh, and then it's cooked tomatoes, brassica vegetables, all those ones that give you wind. The um, cabbage, the cauliflower, the Brussels sprouts, the broccoli and the kale. But they're so good for yeah, you. So they make a really good substance yeah. that protects you from many cancers. So those cooked tomatoes, soy and legumes, like, you know, yeah, lentils, lentils and beans and flax seeds and green tea. Green tea. It prevents breast cancer as well. Wow, okay. okay. So if people want to get more information, where's the best place to go? They go to prostate.org.nz. Okay, excellent stuff. Dr. Francis, thank you so much. And men, just get it done because we want you around, okay? We want Rod you around. Stuart said it. Yes, if you have anything else that we've discussed this morning that you would like more information on, talk to a healthcare professional.